what's good guys so in this video we're gonna be going over scope um, in simple terms I have a little brief description I wrote for you um, scope is an area that determines where values functions etc can be used okay I like to think about scope as a level system so uh, really each level is its own area and you can't go backwards you can only go forwards so let's say we had a uh, level five and we're setting a variable on level five so how do you set a variable well um number equals random random number uh so now we just have a now we have a variable called number okay and we set our variable but um let's just imagine this variable is being set on level one but let's just imagine we set it on level five we cannot go backwards, we can only go forward. So we cannot call upon or access or use this variable in a level four, level three, level two, level one situation because we set it, we're defining it on a level five. Um, so yeah, now you're thinking like, well, how do we get our levels of scopes? So let's say we have a function, okay? We have a function now, this function this function is being set on level two, or a level one, sorry. Um, just like this variable, this variable is being set on level one, scope, scope. So yeah, where's our level two though, okay? All this space inside of this function is level two until it ends. And then if we go outside of the function, well, now we're back on level one, okay? So all of this space inside of here, however much space we have, whatever we're doing, uh, it's gonna be level two. Unless we were to have a function within a function, so a local function, another function inside, a random function, whatever, that's a terrible function name, Okay, so now this function, this function is being set on level two scope, okay? But here's the crazy thing. Anything inside of this function is now classified as a level three because it's being set on level two. So anything inside of here is level three. So let's get rid of this though. Um, so we're in this function, okay? Well, we can print number and it's gonna print it's gonna work just fine okay uh, and it oh we have to call it first I literally always forget to do that so we're calling it it's gonna print our number cool all right so that's cool so let's uh, say that we want to set this in level two let's say we want to set this variable in level two scope so we're gonna set it here we're gonna change um, that to level two this variable is being set on a level two scope because remember anything inside of this function because this function is being set on level one scope anything inside of it is now classified as a level two scope all right so let's say we wanted to print um, let's say we wanted to print outside uh of level two okay let's and by outside i mean we're gonna backtrack and go to level one so boom well first of all we're getting orange lines which is roblox's way of saying we don't know what the heck you're talking about so if we were to we, we were to run this it just comes back nil because it doesn't know what the heck we're talking about okay so you cannot go backwards you can only go forwards you cannot go if you set something in a level five you cannot go anywhere anywhere between one, one to four. You can only go six and or five and six and seven and however many levels you have. Let's say you add up to 50 levels, which you would never ever want to do, ever. But let's say you did. Then you can set it. Then you can call, you can use that variable from five and up and however, however much. But you cannot go down. You cannot use it in any other place um in any other place that's down from that so like you know level one through four 
So for this example, we can't use this in level one anymore because we set it in level two, okay? So just like if we were to create another function, local function, if we were just to do that, and now we have, um, you know, another, now we have another function. If, if we were to set this in that function, then it would be a level three. We can't use it in level two or one and so on, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Um, and that's, it's really just good to understand how that works, um, especially when you're starting out. Um, so yeah.